Hi, this is TK Viper Tech, and today we're going to look at the new iPhone 5S and its new Touch ID sensor. It's a fingerprint scanner. Now we're running a Touch ID demo app, and all you have to do is tap repeatedly, and the iPhone will create a mathematical representation of your fingerprint. Move your finger slightly between each scan, and it'll give you a little buzz to let you know to lift your finger again and scan again. And as you do that, it'll fill up all the red lines on the, the print there. And now, you have to keep capturing the edges of your print. So I'm just going to set this down here, which makes it easier for me. And we're just going to move around, tap around, and fill out the edges. Tap, tap. So the entire process takes about 30 seconds or so and we are done. Tap on continue and let's try this out. Put your finger flush against the metal ring and within half a second it's done. The good thing is you don't press down on the home button just put it lightly on top and you can do this in any direction upside down sideways 360 degrees and it works really great and it's really fast so it's really gonna help with unlocking your screen and buying stuff on iTunes and the App Store. Next, we'll look at uh, other features of this phone. Of course, it has the new iOS 7 layout and the new A7 chip, 64-bit uh, architecture there. Makes everything very snappy, very fast, and it's going to really improve the performance of the camera. And like the iPhone 5, we have a panorama mode, but on this phone, it's much faster because we have a better lens that captures more light, so we can move it faster. We have a square mode, picture mode, video mode, and finally the new slow motion mode, or they call it the slow mo camera. So let's test this out. I'm just going to wave my hand around here so you can see the price tag there. Okay, so I'm moving pretty quickly. I'm going to stop this and uh, let's check out the slow motion video. You can adjust where you want the slow motion to start and end by sliding uh, left and right on these uh, black bars here. So this is the starting point and that's the ending point. And then let's play this back. You can see it's going very fast and suddenly slow motion. Slow motion. And it works really well and the pictures are very clear and back to real speed. It's definitely a very cool feature. Let's check out the camera mode and the new live filters. I'm just going to pick one of these here and take a picture now. It focuses very quickly and the dual tone flash or the true tone flash went off there. They are back here, two lights, the one on top a colder bluish color and the one on the bottom a warmer color. And they will adjust uh, according to the light in the room or in the background. So let's check them out. According to Apple there are a thousand different combinations that these lights can adjust themselves to. So you're gonna get better pictures when using your flash. So definitely an improvement over the flash on the iPhone 5 and on other smartphones. And you no longer need to tap quickly like a madman to take a bunch of pictures quickly. There's a new burst mode. Just leave your finger on the shutter button there and it'll take 10 pictures per second. And that makes uh, much more sense. So even if I tap quickly, it's not going to take a bunch of pictures quickly for me. On the iPhone 5 and with iOS 6, you just tap as quickly as you can to take a bunch of pictures. But now we have a burst mode. And that's it for the camera. Next, we're just going to look at the exterior of this phone. It looks basically the same as the iPhone 5 except for the home button. We still have the earphone jack, the speakers, and the lightning port down there. On the right we have the nano sim slot right there. On the left we have the volume rocker 
and the volume switch and on top we have the power button or the sleep button and that's it thanks for watching please rate subscribe and share my two channels with your friends TK Viper and TK Viper Tech and visit me at tkviper.com see you next time